Islam is experiencing its greatest defeat in its history in Iran today. Mullahs are in charge, but they have abused their power to oppress people, to steal from people, and put in jail those who oppose them and criticize them. Many people have been hurt by mullahs and by Islam in Iran, and they're ready to receive Christ, and many of them are being restored by the power of God and His gospel. Here is a story of Abbas. He says, when I was 16, I started doubting Islam. Why is God so cruel? Why there is so much violence in Islam? When I was 18, I started working at a government office, and there were three mullahs in high positions in that office. They forced me to attend Quran studies, and if I did not attend, they threatened me that they will fire me. One day, these three mullahs asked me to go to their home to help them install flooring. When I went there, they tied my hands and feet, and they raped me, and told me if I mentioned that incident, they would fire me. To escape my inner pain, I started abusing drugs and drinking. I hated God. I hated Islam, Quran, and its prophet. I thought, how could these mullahs, who are supposed to be an example, and ed they are educated in Islam, and they're teaching others, how could they do this? Eventually, my addiction got me fired. Nobody asked me, what happened to you? Nobody asked me, how can we help you? They just threatened me with lashes and jail and discharged me dishonorably. But listen to this. There is a but there. That's what Jesus comes in and changes everything. But not, three months and nine days ago, I was home watching your satellite channel. Pastor Homo said, right now, pray with me and Jesus will save you. And I knelt down and prayed with him. Great things started happening. I'm free from addiction that had lasted 18 years. For the first time in my life, I'm happy and joyful. I read the Bible and watch your programs daily. Thank God for Jesus Christ who saved me. He's truly the Son of God who went on the cross for us. And after being tortured, He died for our sins. He rose from the death after three days to bring new life and forgiveness of sins for all of us. Now, listen. Listen to this, His plea. He's saved. He's healed but now he is pleading with us. I am told in my witness, without fear, I declare to all that I have become Christian and I have no fear of anybody and I'm proud of my decision, but I desperately, I desperately need your teaching and training so I can serve Jesus and let others know about him. Please pray for me. This is a plea, not just to help me get healed. He's healed. This is a plea. Please train me. Equip me. I want to serve the Lord and I have no fear. There are many people like Abbas in Iran. The Lord has restored them and they're desperately crying. They say, we are not afraid of death. Please, but train us. Teach us the Bible. Equip us. We want to serve the Lord and we are not afraid of dying. That's why we started 412 School of Leadership. We want to train leaders and servants like Abbas who boldly will proclaim the gospel and live it out. Would you join us in this movement? I'm thankful for those of you who support us. We are doing some great things. We are broadcasting great programs. Many are coming to Christ. Many like Abbas are being saved, but we need to go to the next step of training leaders. For that, we need you. We need resources. We need finances. We need people who are ready to join us in training. Would you join us in making a movement in Iran? People are being saved. They're desperate. They need training. If you and I join together and train tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of these believers who are waiting for us, just imagine there will be a movement in Iran. These people will transform Iran. They are waiting for us to do our part. Would you join us so that together we will transform Iran? God bless you.